Hi friends, Doug Grady here at Fort Pierce Beach. Hitting the reset button 2019 and over the last few weeks I have been looking at just what I want different in 2019 and beyond and perhaps you have as well. And I want to share with you a method today that we originally introduced in one of our personal development programs called 40 Days of Fitness and it's called the More or Less Method. So it's pretty simple but a couple steps just take out a pad of paper your journal on one side you write more on the other side you write less and just give yourself some freedom here to look at what do I want more of for me this is one of my mores I want to be around ocean and sand and beach and sun more in 2019. So I'm off to a pretty good start. What do you want more of financially? What do you want more of personally? What do you want more of with your family, your friends, your relationships, your community, your service? What do you want more of from a attribute standpoint? What do you want to develop as a personal characteristic in 2019 and beyond? So what is it that you want more of and here's perhaps one of the most important areas to look at what types of experiences do you want more of what types of feelings do you want more of maybe you want more peace perhaps you want more joy more love more of a sense of certainty here's the interesting thing typically for every more there is a less so what is it that you want less of. Maybe you want less debt. Maybe you want less downtime. Maybe you want less wasted time. Maybe you want less anxiety, less fear, less anger, less frustration. Maybe you want less time in the office. What are those mores and lesses? And if you want to categorize them, look at your family, look at your friends, your community, the type of contribution you want to make, look at the business of course, the financial goals, the spiritual goals, the service goals, you know those basic categories. Look at the mores on one side, the less is on another. Now once you've got this list jammed out, typically there is a discipline or more that will support more and less. So let's say you want to decrease $30,000 in debt. Well, it might be less food and beverage expenses, for example, less going out. Look at what could be the less in that particular area. And then what is it on the more side? Maybe it's making more money, which might translate into more lead generation, more marketing, more time being coached by other people. So look at the disciplines that are consistent with supporting your more and supporting your less. And many times it will be a more. In fact, I'm reminded of my good friend Choppa, one of my personal trainers years ago, and I was struggling with bone on bone on both hips. And he said, yo, man, what's your problem? Kind of a street dude. Don't call him Chopper. It's Choppa. And I said, well, you know, I got no cartilage on my hip. He says, you need some more cartilage? Eat more of that. What? That's right. Eat more of that, which means there is something you can do to support getting what you want. So I did. I eat shark cartilage, chicken cartilage, bone cartilage, capsule cartilage. Eight months later, I had double hip replacement surgery. But that's not the point. The point is there is a discipline that you can do more of to get you what you want. You want more money, it tends to be more lead generation. It tends to be more creative thinking with bigger and better prospects or more dollars per sale. So what are the disciplines that support that more? And on the flip side, what is it that you will do less of or not at all. Every once in a while I grow this beard. You've seen me without it. You've seen me with it. Not too long ago I saw a buddy I hadn't seen in a while. He says, yo man, you're growing a beard. And which is only partly true because you don't grow the beard. That's right. The beard grows itself. You have to do something to stop the growth of a beard. What are you doing to stop your personal growth, your professional growth? 
your spiritual development, your emotional maturity, what are those things that you consistently do that minimize your personal and professional growth? And let's look at some disciplines in that area. What can you do less of or not at all to support more growth toward what it is that you want? So step number one is you look at your mores and your lessons. And don't forget about experiences and feelings. What feelings do you want more? What moments do you want more? What experiential learning do you want more? What are those things you want more of to feel, to have, and to be? And what do you want less of? For me, man, it's less anxiety, less fear, less anger, less frustration, more peace, more joy, more love. So what are the disciplines that you can carve in that support more of that and less of that and get real specific? I'm going to give you one last tip here. It's New Year's resolution time. New Year's resolutions do not work for many reasons. I'm going to recommend you do not make a 365-day discipline commitment. Dumb it down to 30, 40, 50, 60, no more than 90 days have a beginning and an end for this discipline. So, for example, one of my disciplines this, this year to support more peace, more love, more joy is 10 minutes of writing in my journal every morning, 10 minutes of focusing on my goals every morning, 10 minutes. This is a minimum standard, may not be ideal, but the minimum standard is 10 minutes of devotional every morning. So I've got a 30 minute ritual that's a minimum standard. Sometimes it's 40 minutes, sometimes it's 50 minutes, sometimes it's an hour, but my minimum standard is 30 minutes every single day for that 10, 10 and 10 scenario. What is it for you? Once you've carved out those disciplines for each of your goals, your more, your less, I recommend that you get an accountability partner. It's real simple. You call up a buddy and say, hey man, I want you to be my accountability partner. He says yes. She says no. Yes or no. Uh, and you just say, hey, we'll text each other each day or each week on our progress that we did these disciplines. Not the outcomes, but the disciplines that support the outcomes. The lesses and the mores. I just found a wonderful tool that can help you. It's called Habit Bull. It's the, for me, it's the perfect tracking situation to track disciplines. Uh, it's a simple app, Habit Bull. I have no affiliation with the company, uh, but I use it personally and I've encouraged my friends, my clients, and my family to use it as well. This is a great time to look at what you want more of, what you want less of, and now what are you willing to do more of and do less of to support those outcomes. Happy 2019.